So let's be real, eventually every off-road project hits that point where you've got to go and put a winch on it. I've already got close to around $700 invested in this build, and so I really don't want to be putting a $100 winch on, so I went hunting for the cheapest one possible. Let's take a look at what we ended up picking up. So I'm actually really excited to get into this. I've been watching these for about six months now, and basically... What these are is these are Baba 2000 winches that you can buy on Alibaba and they actually will print your company's name on the winch. And I mean, it's pretty cool. Not really. So as you can see, there is nothing whatsoever on the box. They couldn't even include something like a little bitty sticker or something like that. The only thing to discern this box is this DW2000 12 volt so let's get into this and like I said this is the cheapest possible winch that they sell on Amazon and basically you can pick these up when they show up for around 45 46 dollars I'll include a print screen of what I paid on this one now 45 46 dollars for an extra $10, you could get an actual um, Badlands winch from Harbor Freight. Or even better yet, you could get a knockoff Super Winch LT2000, a knockoff um, Rug CL winch for $65. So I'll include links for those below. Now, this winch is really weird in that, as far as I can tell... I have no idea what it's a knockoff of, and hopefully somebody will fill it in. Now, as we can see here, it's a full kit included winch. You've got your plate, you've got your winch, you've got your fair lead, and you've got your controller. Now, I normally run Champion 2000 winches, and I'll actually post a picture of this next to a Champion 2000 at some point. This just does not want to come out. There we go. So there's our fair, our fair lead mount and our winch mount plate that actually is pretty decent quality thickness. Now, I've seen these fair leads showing up all over the place. These things are ultimate total junk. And this one is even so cheap, you guys are going to laugh at this one. Because this is insanely how cheap these have gotten. This is quality, quality at its finest. As you can see, they're cotter pins going through. They're just rolling pins sitting on cotter pins on the end. High quality. We've got our usual mounting bolts and stuff. Nothing too fancy going on there. Now, let's see the actual winch. Now, coming back to this, an LT2000 Super Winch RGCL is about $65. A Champion 2000, is which, which is what I really recommend, is $70. And that Champion 2000 is what I run. A Champion 3000 is $98.78 on Amazon right now today. These Baba 2000s, are selling for around $45 on Amazon. There we go. So included next, it looks as if we had a little extra packing material in there for some reason. We've got this, which is the world's chintziest looking controller I have ever seen. I'm pretty sure that I have seen McDonald's french fries that are made out of better quality plastic than that. And there is no way that thing is waterproof. But in its defense, the wiring actually feels decent quality. Let's pull some leads out here. I'll make that not in its defense. I've seen this before and I want to point this out to you. So, what the cheap Chinese knockoffs have started doing is they put really, really thick exterior coats on the wire. 
And then the wire itself is a little itty bitty thing on the inside. So this is nowhere near the rating of a regular 2,000 pound winch from Champion, Super Winch, any of the others. This is absolutely just the cheesiest possible. Now let's get into the winch itself. So, like I said, these are Baba 2000s, and you pay to put your logo on it. Now what I find interesting is that this company, Five Oceans, actually pulled these winches off of their Amazon page, and they're showing up as unavailable now. So I wonder if these are even going to work. It's got no catch piece underneath in order to hold. It actually is using the bolts through as its bottom plate. I find that interesting. The other thing I've noticed is these end pieces here. All of your newer, more modern winches, the screw bolts are on the sides for where your connections are. I haven't seen a winch that's got a mount on the back end in quite a long time. Um, to give you a perspective, I basically burn up about, well, I'm on my, I'm on my fourth winch on my mud mowers and I've purchased probably another four winches for other projects in the last two years. So we're going to take this thing and we're going to compare it sitting next to several other variations and styles of winches and go from there. The one thing I'm curious about is whether this free roll here works halfway decent. As you watch me remove half of my finger using an open razor blade, which nobody should do. Okay, so let's see here. Which way? It says spool wire rope. No directions on which direction this goes. So let's go this way with it. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty strong, actually. That takes a lot more effort than I was expecting. That did not settle in, so let's see if we give it a tug. Oh, there it goes. That settled. So, that's interesting. I don't know if you can see that on video, but it actually rides up onto that piece of plastic there and then rides back down. That is a good spot for grit and grime to get into. So there we are. Just a full overview of our $45 worth of purchase. And now we're going to put it next to some other winches and show you what it looks like. Hi, right, so here's the big debate. And I'll post up a picture of this on the community tab on YouTube so that you guys can comment on it since YouTube is a bunch of twits. So, I've got these turned all the way, and the reason being is because I wanted to see exactly how close we're going to come to that tire. I can pass my hand here, so it would probably be okay. But the other thing is, is if I'm mounted right there, I'm right directly underneath the motor, and getting kind of in a weird location, and it doesn't look right for the truck. So really, in all honesty, I think we should be mounted out into here somewhere, up in front like you normally would see on an off-road rig. And I also found this. It's the front bumper off of a large MTD. And I was debating maybe cutting it to fit. Maybe having it come in and mount perfectly to the front there. Because this looks pretty good by itself. And then having that there. Or maybe bring maybe cut this loop off and bring the loop up and around. I could bend a piece of conduit around it or keep it within just coming just barely inside the Ford logo. What do you guys think? Leave me some comments. Leave me some ideas. We'll go from there.